This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. It's fight day here in Gibraltar. Uh, Pavetkin versus White 2 live on Sky Sports and DAZN tonight. Rumble on the Rock. I'm joined by Mr Kane Baker. How are you, mate? Very well, mate. Very well. Yeah? Yep. You do look a little bit tired. Yeah, I am. Uh, well, I'm not tired. I've literally just got up, though. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's more to it. Yes, you can see that in your eyes. But listen, uh, you've been here obviously since we all came out here on the same flight on Wednesday, and uh, it's been a good week. Ah, oh, yeah, it's been lovely, mate. It's been uh, it's been somewhat special, and it? it's uh, that's the only word to describe it. It's been very special. The last kind of twelve months for you has been a, a little bit of a, a whirlwind. You know, starting with uh, what happened with you know Akib Fiaz, and then your win last time out. It, it's kind of the story continuing. Yeah, the, uh, it's been a it's been a mad year. I've been a full time boxer really for a year now, full time pro, and uh, been in the bubble four times. This is my fourth time in the bubble, and I, I've done it. I've everything's happened. I've had a pull out, a win, a loss, uh, and another win tomorrow or today. Um, Yusuf Kamari, uh, Dillian White's backed fighter, um, eleven and zero. What do you know about him? I know he's a good, flashy, skillful, skillful boxer. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he's saying he, he likes to have the row. I haven't really seen him have the row. He ain't fought anyone who ain't worked or who's full time. He hasn't really had. He fought Liam Dillian, but he was working two days before the fight, and uh, that was a draw. So uh, yeah, when he, when he comes up, I want to see how good he is when he comes up against someone who's as relentless as me. You keep referring to yourself as as the boxing fan with a license, but. Surely you're you're beyond that now. Well, no, I, I'm, I'm never going to change what I am. I remember saying it to you in Saudi. Um, yeah, and it's something that's always stuck with me, and it's something I'll always be with while I've got a license and while I'm I'm a boxing fan with a license. So there's no change in it. It's a good attitude. I can see where you're coming from a bit, and I think people kind of appreciate that's your kind of mentality uh, and and how you kind of. Portray, portray yourself in, in the sport, which is enlightening to see. But, um, you know, Eddie Earn said to you at the press conference that, you know, you get a win over over Yusuf Kamari and he's going to guarantee you back in the garden. I know. And that, that's that's the dream come true. That was a, when I was there and uh, to get it took away last minute was, honestly, it's probably the, one of the most gutting things that's happened to me in boxing. Worse than any loss or anything like that. It was it was horrible to get that fight took away from me last minute. Um, so yeah, win today and uh, I'm back in the garden in the summer. Yeah, you think Eddie Earn will keep to his word? He ain't, st he ain't not yet. He's stuck to everything he said so far. So uh, winner stays on and, and back in the garden. It sounds like uh, he'll stick to his word. How confident that you can, which it would be deemed in in the outside, not to you and your team, but it would be deemed as an upset. It seems like it's always. Yeah. Deemed as an upset if, if you win, Kane. I think eventually people are going to have to start kind of saying, well, it's not an upset. Kane Baker's game, he come and won, and etc. So, but um, yeah, you, you know kind of the position you're in. It's, it's, it's a tough task, but I suppose anyone writing you off shouldn't. Yeah, definitely don't write me off. Um, and to be honest, I, I, I don't like having a fight. I'd hate. I can't sell tickets or have fights to where people think I'm, I'm the one who's going to win the fight. I, I don't like it that way. I don't get the best out of me. I like to be the underdog. And uh, every fight that I win going forward, I hope the opponent gets better. So, and I'm always the underdog. That's how I want to be. Uh, a boxing fan with a license. An underdog. That's me. But you're 100% confident that you will pull off and get the win tonight? Yes, definitely. Um, I've never trained like this for the last for the last year especially and for this camp I've been training alongside like some top pros with Len a good friend of mine Lennox Clark who's fighting tonight back home we, we've we've the running on the track and things that I've never ever done before and I just feel a totally different animal and uh, I'm going to go to work tonight we look forward to it we're just literally hours away Kane have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish I just uh, thank you to all my friends family and sponsors uh Everyone that's helped me out, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to putting on the show tonight, tune in, and uh, yeah, the boxing fan with a license, that's it. We'll look forward to it. Kane Baker, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV, and uh, we'll grab a word of you after your fight tonight here in Gibraltar. Thank you very much. Nice one.